Hi, I'm going to de demonstrate how to uh, pull tail hair for genetic testing. What you need is a, a clean pliers, uh, preferably disinfected in, in a disinfected soap or alcohol, a Ziploc bag or a, a piece of paper depending on which lab you're going to send it to. But most labs require about 30 to 50 hairs and that's more of an approximation. It's uh, pretty simple. You don't need to put an animal on the chute but you go towards the end of the tail and grip a bunch of tears, uh, hairs close to the, the roots and just with a quick jerk you can see the uh, hair bulbs on the end there, the root bulbs and that's where the genetic material is. Uh, place it on your paper and usually depending on how many you get three or four poles, well, there's plenty there Try to keep the root ends all in the same direction. And that should, well, I'll grab one more. You can never grab too much. Make sure the hair's fairly clean. Um, and you would either take this and wrap it with tape at, at about this spot and then place it in a Ziploc bag or uh, if you have a piece of paper some labs have forms that they fill out or you can make your own just place it on the on the paper with the root ends on one side and you can actually cut the excess hair off a lot of times that's the dirty hair anyways and then fold it up and send it and that's as easy as that.